The golden age of pornography refers to a 15-year period, around 1969 to 1984, during which commercial American pornography received positive attention from the mainstream media. The general public saw pornographic films at traditional cinemas, as opposed to the X-rated only cinemas, and film critics took them seriously. Andy Warhol's 1969 film Blue Movie marks the beginning of the golden age of porn. It starred actors Viva and Louis Walden playing themselves. Warhol later attributed his groundbreaking film with influencing Bernardo Bertolucci's Last Tango in Paris, which was also a controversial, sexually charged film. Blue Movie and Mona, another 1970 porno chick, as coined by Ralph Blumenthal of the New York Times, were the first adult films to have a white theatrical release in America. Two years later, Deep Throat was released, starring Linda Lovelace. The film became such a success that numerous celebrities like Johnny Carson and Bob Hope referenced them in their respective late-night shows. The high box office revenues of this of these films made them serious competition with Hollywood films, and the production value of porn films gradually increased. The rise of the video cassette in the late 1980s reduced the popularity of porn, and the genre very quickly reverted to low quality and cheap production techniques which ended the golden age of pornography.